Hello everybody! Today's video is going to be a Christmas... Christmas? No. Christmas gift guide video. I know I'm a little bit late to the party on this, so that is why I'm gonna make this quick, quick, quick. Most of this video is going to be beauty items, and then at the end I have a couple of kind of beauty related, but not actually like makeup or skincare or anything like that. So stay tuned to the end to see those. If you are sick of seeing beauty gift guides, make sure you go check out my boyfriend's gift guide on the work top because he did, in my opinion, a wonderful gift guide. He had so many good ideas. I'm gonna link his video right here. You can see a little taster of what it's like over on the work top. Go subscribe to his channel, check out the video, and let's get into this. Stocking stuffers, my favorite part of Christmas. I love opening a stocking. So this little kit here would be perfect for a stocking. This is the Deborah Lipman nail set. It's called Dance Music and it's got two nail polishes in this cute little glittery bag. I picked these up in Boots there by Essie and they have like little gift sets. So this has a couple of colors. It has Bahama Mama and Chinchilli, which I really like that color. And then I saw this one as well, which has Mademoiselle, Fifth Avenue and Mint Candy Apple, which are three colors that I think are quite popular by Essie. Philosophy have done some cute little sets as well. I think I think these can actually go on the tree. This is just their purity cleanser, but a tiny version. And then this is their hands of hope. So those are quite cute. I got this in Sephora while I was in New York and I thought it was gorgeous. So this is actually a full size fresh sugar lip balm, but it's in this really cute festive packaging. And again, you could hang this on the tree, but I think this is the perfect little stocking stuffer because it's so tiny and everyone needs a good lip balm in their life, especially in the winter time. This is the Aromatherapy Associates Instant Inner strength. So if you know someone who needs some strength in their life and just needs some calm action, this is a really cool thing because it opens like this and then it has this little roller ball which you can like put on your wrists or behind your ears or on your temples or anything like that and it's supposed to be a nice blend of soothing, calming stuff. I love the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker. Woo, almost slipped up there. They're lip crayons but they're quite glossy so I feel like lots of lip crayons are matte which I also love. I love a good matte lip but these ones are really easy to use and they're really glossy and nice. And this nice little tin has three of the uh, mother, mother, three of the mother puckers, three of the glossy mother puckers. My last stocking stuffer idea is by Topshop. It has a blush and a lipstick. I love Topshop makeup. I think it's amazing. And again, nice little cute little gift set. Moving right along to bigger beauty gift sets. This one is by The Body Shop. I think it's really gorgeous packaging. And if you haven't already guessed, this is a Shea gift set. So let me just open it up. And inside you can see it's packaged in a really cool way. I really like that. So it has the Shea perfume, it has a mini body scrub, it has the oil, it has the body butter, which is one of my all time favorite things in the world. It has the um, shower cream, which I'm using in my shower right now. And it has the body whip. So it's like a lighter version of the body butter. I think these come in a variety of different scents, but if you know someone who loves Shea in particular, this is a great little gift set. Skincare wise, I think the first aid beauty gift Gift sets are amazing. I'm always like staring at them on the Sephora website because they're so, well, they're just packed, they're like pre wrapped for you. You don't even need to wrap this. I would just hand this over as is. Um, so this has quite a few little things in there. It's got a face cleanser, the facial radiance pads, it's got the ultra repair cream, which is really great for dry skin. So it's a big variety. If someone's never used the brand before, this is a good introduction. And if they already like the brand, it's good as well. On to the mother of all mothers. This is. The Soap and Glory, the Supremes gift set. This is like taking up the entire screen because it is that big. Inside this you get a hand and foot cream, a loofah, a shower cream, body scrub, cozy socks, and the righteous butter. And actually when my mom came to London, I had this in the shower and she was like, I love that scent. I've never smelled anything like it before. So mom, I may or may not be putting this underneath the tree for you, but uh, just pretend you didn't see this, okay? The Urban Decay On The Run is a relatively new item. I don't wanna open it up because I'm gonna give this away on my blog, but it has some eyeshadows, a bronzer, a blush. This is a highlighter, I think. It's got their mascara, which I love, an eyeliner, and a lip gloss. This is... 
Whew, love this. This is by Tarte, which is one of my all-time favorite brands. And this is kind of like their lip set. I don't know what it's actually called. It says Tarte Sweet Dreams. It says treat yourself or a loved one to elegant kissable lip with this limited edition set of charming lip surgeons treasures. Another lip related item that I had to mention is by Bare Minerals. It's their kissing booth set. And it has one, two, three, four, five, six lip glosses in here. The Marvelous Moxie lip glosses are some of my most most used lip glosses. They smell kind of minty but vanilla-y and I love the colors so much. I especially like Hot Shot and I have a couple other ones which I can't remember the name of but I just love them so much, love that they're miniature, kind of want to keep this but I will resist the urge. This item is actually my own personal item. This was actually sent to me by Neil's Yard. It's their lavender bath salts and I couldn't get over, first of all, how big this jar was. I was like, wow. And when I open it up, oh, heaven in a blue jar. Wow, my singing is really good. I will not be giving this away as a gift because I'm keeping this for myself. But if you know someone who loves to take baths and you wanna like really treat them, this would be such a nice one. So I just wanted to share that for my own personal collection. And last but not least for the beauty section is the Philosophy Snow Angel um, Shower Gel. So I'm gonna open this up and show you. That is what this little baby looks like. It looks like a nail polish. Like it's so pretty and metallic. And it says, snow angels come to call during the happiest season of all. I wanted to mention a few home fragrance items because I know personally I love to receive candles and home stuff. I just, I can't have enough of that. I also think you can't really go wrong if you're getting a gift for like a mom or an in-law or something because everybody loves a bit of home fragrance. So the first one is very luxurious. It's by Jo Malone and this is their set of three little candles. And just opening that box, I'm like, Yes, hit me once, hit me twice, woo, hit me three times. What am I even saying? So this has their famous pomegranate noir candle, a pine and eucalyptus candle, as well as an incense and embers candle. So these are three very festive candles and Jo Malone, whenever I see that Jo Malone box, I'm just like heart eye emoji for like 25 minutes. Like love it so much. Cowshed do some really nice candles as well. This is their Wild Cow Invigorating Room Candle. So let's see if I can open this up. Just a really nice wintry candle. So that is really good. And these burn really nicely too. And the last things to mention are a couple of items from Neom. So I'll start with the candle. This is their Christmas Wish Candle. It's got mandarin, cinnamon, and tonka bean. I've spoken about Neom candles so many times before. I've loved them for ages. Like it's been like over three, two, three years or something that I've had my first Neom candle. They last forever, they're big, they're glorious. I think they're soy-based candles. And the scent seriously goes all throughout the room and up the stairs and down the road and to the neighbor across the street. And it's just like, a glorious, glorious candle. If you're not a candle person, I think diffusers are always nice. I always like to have a couple of diffusers around. So this little set has a diffuser like this. So these are one of those things that you put the sticks in and then it also comes with a candle. So when you are like home and you wanna burn a candle, there's this one, it's lavender, jasmine, and Brazilian rosewood. Woo, we've made it this far. Now it's on to the non-beauty items. So I have a few books I wanna recommend. The first one is called The Little Book of lunch. So I, for one, am always struggling with lunchtime ideas. That's when I get the most laziest. Breakfast, I kind of make an effort. Dinner, yes, but lunch, I'm just like, no, I don't want to cook. I just want to eat. So this book has lots of lunchtime recipes, whether you're on the go or you're at home, and most of them are pretty healthy as well. So I think that's a really good book. Oh, sandwiches. Oh, noodles. Oh, it's all so delicious. And if you know someone who's just a huge book enthusiast, loves books in general, like just loves reading, loves going to bookstores, here are three books pretty much just about bookstores. And I absolutely love these. These were actually sent to me by the author. She watches my videos. So Jen, if you're watching, big thank you. And I feel really special because she like signed the books. 
She signed the books, signed the book. I don't know, I just I think that's pretty cool. This book pretty much talks about bookshops. So I'm just gonna read a bit of the inside. It says, we're talking about bookshops in barns, converted churches, bookshops on boats, on buses. And then she's also got these books, which is weird things customers say in bookshops. And if you've ever worked in retail, I think you could probably appreciate this. There are some funny moments in there. So that's quite a cool book. This is another item from my personal stash. This is my Rifle Paper Company beauty calendar. As soon as I saw this on their website, I was like, that's the calendar I want to have on my desk. So it's a 2015 calendar and then each month has like a different beauty related design, which I think is just really enjoyable. If there's any beauty lovers in the house, I can guarantee you probably love this. So if you're watching and you know a beauty lover and you don't want to get the makeup, get them something makeup related. In my opinion, I've saved one of the best for last. I absolutely love this mug and I'm gonna actually wash it and do a close up because you can already tell that my lipstick has ruined it, but it's a white mug with a gold rim and it has a gold lip print over the top. So you know, like when you drink your tea or your coffee or whatever, you always get lipstick on your mug if you're wearing lipstick. This kind of has the gold imprint there already. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. I'm also gonna be giving away some of the stuff I mentioned in today's video over on my blog. So go to essiebutton.com. So click the link down below and I'll have everything about the giveaway listed over on the blog, over there. Another quick announcement, I have my vlogging camera here because I'm doing Jingle Week, which is basically like Vlogmas, except I'm not vlogging every day, but I'm making a festive effort. So if you want to see my vlogs, like right now, this is like vlogception. I'm filming this, I'm filming this then head over to my vlog channel, which is youtube.com slash essiebuttonvlogs, and you can check out those videos. I'm gonna wrap up this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Let's not forget about Reggie. We really need to get him into the festive mood, so I'm putting on his Santa hat, of course. He isn't the biggest fan of his Santa hat. As you can see, he's trying to destroy it, but I simply told him that it's a very important part of getting festive for a cozy night in.